five, four, three, two, one. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Happy, happy Tuesday, everyone. Thank you for joining our Tuesday Night Live. I am your host. Well, I am Elisha, head photographer of Custom Creation Photography. And I am coming to you for yet another Tips for Tuesday, Tuesday Night Live. It is our weekly show where we share tips on a Tuesday. And this month, our theme is <clears throat> plan a summer celebration event, which I shared with you last week. If you tuned in last week, that planning events and talking about events is one of my favorite things to do. And so this month, since I looked over the calendar, saw that we have actually five Tuesdays this month, guess what? I decided that we are going to talk about events this time. And this Tuesday, which is the second week in July, we are going to talk about five budget-friendly events, okay? And this is one of my, I love doing like budget-friendly type of stuff because I'm a creative, you know, outside of just doing photography, I do a lot of creative work um, in my past life. And um. I've actually had a business where I did customized decorations and I shipped them all over the country. So I love being creative with my hands. I love being able to come with different ideas and to just make something real, just fun, amazing. And if I can host an event and have people come and have an experience at my event, I mean, by all means, welcome to the party. <laughs> it's going to be a party, y'all. Okay, so I wanted to just go in. We have five budget-friendly party ideas that we wanted to share with you um, for our planning a summer uh, celebration event, okay? So we're going to go over five um, ideas. And if you have more, feel free to share your ideas with us. Listen, um, I just think the more unique... Um, an idea is, and even um, party ideas, activities at the party, all different types of things. I think it's just a lot of fun. Um, one of my main things is planning an event. You just want to give your guests an experience of coming to your event and just providing that experience for those guests so they can walk away, continue to talk about your event. All right. So once again, we're at week two, and this is the five budget-friendly party ideas. Number one, we have on our list, host a movie night. Now, I put, um, um, you could do like a backyard um, if you have a backyard. It all depends on where you live, okay? So this definitely is about location. However, I put on here, you can rent a projector and then add the little details. So if you have a backyard, you can do the um, backyard movie night where you can select a nice movie. Um, and this could be for adults or children. Either way, or, you know, whoever you're ho hosting a party for, this would be a great um, host a nice party. You can have all the fixings, like if you were going to a movie theater, the popcorn, the drinks, just all the fun, the candies, and all those little details. I just think about some, you can go buy the little, um, the large candies that you can get at the movie theaters and everything like that. So you can make this so much fun to host a movie party at your at your home. And again, it is a budget friendly idea. You know, you can set up um, lawn chairs. You can have your guests bring their own chairs if necessary. But this can be really nice. And if you're not going to do it in the backyard, you can think about if you have a larger living room or something. You can still rent the projector and have um the movie projected um, um, on a wall or different things like that, depending on your location, okay? All right, so that is number one. Number two is a backyard barbecue. Once again, this is a backyard barbecue, but however, if you don't have a backyard or if you don't want to host it in your backyard, you can host it at your home or at a venue, Basically, you're just going to be gathering folks in your menu. Basically, the barbecue is the theme, you know, so you'll have um, a buffet of 
summer foods or barbecue related foods, you know, um, hot dogs, hamburgers, chicken, corn on the cob, potato salad, all the things that says this is a summer barbecue. Invite family and friends over, have a good time. I think a backyard barbecue is perfect anytime, actually. But definitely, definitely during the summer, when I think of summer and I think of parties and celebrations and events, I always think of barbecue. Barbecue sauce, barbecue pits, uh, charcoal, um, just grilling out all of those things. So number two is barbecue, a backyard barbecue. Number three is a summer cocktail party. Now, when I'm thinking of cocktail, this is just a creative spin on a drink station. Again, this could be for adults or children, you know, have all the ingredients and the fixings to create creative drinks. For adults, you might have adult beverages. For the children, you can have children's beverages or some type of mocktails or just fun um, fixings and things that they can mix up and make creative drinks, okay? Um, it's a lot of fun. You can mix and match um, drink recipes and just come up with some creative drinks and delicious flavors and, and uh, share with your peers, share with your family and friends. It's just a really easy breezy uh, celebration event idea um, to just bring folks together and just have a good time. All right, number four, I just decided to kind of put a new spin on a garden party, okay? So not just theme alone as far as decorations. I'm thinking in terms of bringing your friends and family together and hosting a real plant party, okay? Where you'll have the soil, the seeds, um, the, um, the, you know, the pots, the plant pots, <laughs> or you can use styrofoam cups if you'd like, um, and really, really plant some seeds, you know, have some seeds, some soil. And, um, and basically I would write down or I would create some forms and stuff so you can keep track. Everybody can make their own plants or, and or garden by planting the seeds and then everyone stay in touch and you just kind of follow up on people on how it's coming along, how is their plant growing and different things like that. But literally put together a garden or, or do some potting and stuff, have a party, a real life garden party. That's what I'm going to call it. A real live garden party. I think that is something I would like to do in the future and stuff. I, I love, I'm a plant mom and I love my plants and I love seeds and soil and I just like seeing something grow. So I think um, that is a fun twist on a garden party. All right, number five, I have a hot dog party. And for the hot dog party, just creating a hot dog bar with all the fixings, you know, the onions, the chili, stuff that you can put on the cheese, um, mustard, ketchup, um, just creating a whole hot dog bar, coming together and making different types of um, hot dogs. And to put even a more fun spin on it, you can kind of make it into a contest by basically coming up with concepts. Say each, everybody owns some type of hot dog restaurant. This is just a little fun. And Everybody come up with a concept on why their hot dog restaurant would be the best based on whatever hot dogs that they put together at their hot dog bar. And then um, people can judge or um, make it into a contest who has the best restaurant concept, who, restaurant name wins, okay? And maybe have a prize or something for someone who uh, would come up with the best concept on their hot dog uh, restaurant or a hot dog theme um, or the best hot dog, hot dog recipe or whatever, okay? So those are my five things. And <clears throat> I wanted to give just a kind, I know there's so many more themes that you can come up with for some budget friendly, but I wanted to just give an honorable mention, like I was thinking of a beach party um, as well as a pool party. I, I love a nice pool party, especially if you have some people that want to get in the pool, which is a lot of fun. And 
it could be a very budget friendly um, type of celebration. Just have um, some summer foods, summer drinks, and um, the pool would be the activity, you know, playing games in the pool and different things like that. And listen, if you don't own a pool, um, there is a site that you can actually find a local place to rent a pool. Uh, it is called Swim Swimply, Swimply, and it's spelled S W I M P L Y. And you can actually rent. It's like the Airbnb of swimming pools. So you can actually rent someone's property that has a swimming pool. Of course, there's rules and regulations to it. But if they have a swimming pool, you can rent it out for a couple of hours if you're hosting something or you just want to swim and different things like that. Um, that is an option. And it also is an honorable mention on this list for today. Once again, um, this was week two, which five budget-friendly party ideas um, for the summer. Number one was hosting a movie party. Number two, a backyard barbecue. Number three, a summer cocktail party. Number four, a garden party. And number five, a hot dog party. And then honorable mention on this particular list is a beach party or a pool party. Listen, everybody, I'm so excited to bring party planning ideas and just get you stirred up in case you're going to be hosting an event this summer or even if you're going to host something for the fall, the winter. Any time is a good time to celebrate, if you ask me, you know, make a theme, make it fun, invite some family and friends and have a good time, you know, do everyday celebrating. And listen, if you are a person who does like to celebrate every day or host a lot of different things and looking for some creative ideas, download, look, I have put together a guide of 75 ideas on party beans okay it is a list i just kind of poured some stuff out of my brains and put together a list of 75 things so if you're kind of stuck and like what should i do take a look at our list it is 75 um creative themes to host your next party so listen y'all i am your host elisha akram i am head photographer of custom creation photography we specialize in special event photography branding, and portrait photography. So if you are looking to create memories, you have a special event coming up and you need someone to document it for, or if you are a person in business and you need some polished image to present yourself in the outside world, make sure you give us a call. We are available for you. We are based here in Atlanta, Georgia. However, we are willing to travel. Y'all stay tuned. Listen, tips for Tuesday. This is our event month where we are planning out summer events and I am providing tips this month. So stay tuned because guess what? There's more to come. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.